Okay, these are assumptions about me, huh? Because you're very rude, leh. Who, huh? Who write this, huh? Hey, how many, how many assumptions are there? So many, man. Rubbish. Hello, 大家好，我是钟晴。Hi, I'm Kim Eng. Today, I'll be reading a series of assumptions about me. I have googled myself before, but not all the time. Once in a while, good comments are beautiful, pretty, talented, can act, can talk, can sing, can dance. I'm very pleased. Yeah, with what I googled about myself. <laughs> Kim Eng's on-screen persona is very different from her in real life, as she is an extreme introvert. Quite true, lah. But I don't think I'm extreme in, extreme introvert. Most of the time, I like to be by myself. I like to be alone. I guess it's because my job brings me everywhere, meeting a lot of people, talk a lot most of the time. So when I'm out of work, I like to be alone, and I also don't really social because I'm very lazy to go out. Every time I go out, I go to put on my lipstick, curl my hair. So to go out and meet people, I'm not very keen. Since young, I'm very shy. I'm a very shy girl. Really, believe me, I'm very shy. So I don't talk a lot, uh, but I listen to so find it very interesting. More than me telling people what happened to me, but because my job needs me to talk, so I have no choice. No choice. I have to force myself to talk. So much. So after so many years, I become a talkative person. Job hazard. It's a job hazard. Yeah. Kim Eng is scared to confirm her age to the public, for she'll be typecasted. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. People always want to ask how old you are, and then they judge you by the number. Oh, you are this young, you cannot do this. You are this old, you cannot do that. So that's why I don't tell you my age. But I guess a lot of people know my age lah. The Wikipedia also got lah, but they are not accurate one. I tell you first, I'm much younger. Kim Eun feels like her stardom is fading off, and is thinking of quitting the. Industry rubbish. Uh, it's not about whether my stardom is fading off or or not. But I'm not thinking of quitting the industry because I'm married, but I don't have kids. So I, I want to be doing something. So I, I want to keep working unless I'm not popular anymore and I'm asked to go home and retire. I have no choice. After all this, while I realize that I'm more a performer than a presenter. Furthermore, this is something that, that I really enjoy very much, and then I get to try different things. Or even when interviewing different people, Feng Fu the Sheng Hong. Make my life more meaningful and fulfilling. Cannot, cannot. Having hosted so many different shows and spoken to all kinds of people, Kim Eng is never afraid to speak with people or strangers. I think so, lah. Okay, I think I'm lucky because a lot of people sort of know me. So when they talk to me, they already treat me like a friend. So I will talk to them the way they talk to me, lah. Okay, boy, are you going to school today? Uh, how are you? Which class are you in? Wow, you're so tall, uncle. Jia ba boy, you can't wear heels, oh. Bai bei, bai bei, ah, I'll give me a card for Hi. 今天拍什么戏 ？OK， 是啊。OK， being such a private person， she hesitated a lot before starting her social media account. Yeah， this is true. Yeah， because ah， I thought when you start a social media account， right， then people will know where you are. But then my friends told me that no， no， it's not like that. You can just turn off your location. But still， like every time I go somewhere， right？ I must leave the place, then I will post where. <laughs> Last time I used to post a lot of uh, cooking, uh, jogging, exercising. I realized that when I do those posts, right, my colleague thought I'm very good at it. So I think I cut down lah. Not that I'm not good at it lah, no, but I'm not that good as they thought lah. They thought I can cook so well, so they asked me to go on some cooking show and do certain things that I don't think I can do. Cooking or working out is just pleasure. Yeah, I don't want to turn it into a pressure for me. I, I don't think I'll be on TikTok. Because uh, I think these these people that are on TikTok, they spend a lot of time, and I think they are also very talented, of course. But I think it's not very suitable for me because I'm only pretty. 
Because of her height, Kim has to put on her effervescent, effervescent personality to be recognized. What's effervescent? Bubbly. No, 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 not because of my height. I have become so bubbly. I'm just naturally bubbly, like a champagne. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, let me put it this way. Because I'm shy, so when a shy person talks, uh, I think they tend to be very soft. But if I'm going to be working as a host, I cannot be talking so softly. I have to up my volume. You know, of course, when you speak louder, you also boost your own confidence. This has got nothing to do with my height. Last time I thought, why am I so short among all the other actors or actresses? But now I think it's good, my height is good because I stand out. What if you so tall? No? You should look at the shorty first. Everyone loves Kim. She's the funniest host of all media corp. This one is assumption, huh? I didn't say this. Huh? This sentence is actually more stressful than delightful to hear. No, le? I'm very happy to hear. Le. Okay, when people say they love me, I'm not stressed. But when people think I'm very funny, I'm a little bit stressed. Huh? Because sometimes you go out, right? People say, hey, tell me I don't know leh. Some people will prepare some jokes, you no. Know, like anytime when you need to tell a jokes, right? Wow, they can come up with a joke leh. No, I'm not. I'm not that kind. Yeah. Being so popular in Singapore, Kim Eun gets a lot of free meals, rubbish, discounts, and gets to cut queue. Free, maybe free sotong ball or maybe one free gong hyeong or what lah. But I won't get a free meal. I wouldn't want a free meal lah because it's very pricey, man. Huh? Especially. Uh, in the hawker centre. People were so hard, no. How can you not pay for the food? So I will insist on paying. And then discounts, yes, yes. I'm very happy that I get discounts. That's why I don't shop overseas. Because overseas nobody know me, right? They don't give me discount, no. So forget it. I will come home and I will shop in Singapore. And then gets to cut queue. No, no, no. Even if the lapa say, hey, Kim, no need to queue, come, come, come. No, 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 no. I will stand behind and queue until my turn. Kim Meng's talent as a dramatic actress is underrated because everyone sees her as a host more than an actress. I'm not underrated. What? I want two best supporting actresses. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And one more coming. <laughs> I hope for it, but I think the chances are quite low. Lah, because the rest of the nominees are very powerful actresses. For this year, I'm going to be in two dramas. So I guess um, my so-called talent is recognised and that's why they want me to play other roles. Is there one role that you're not trapped to watch? Oh, I want to be a ghost. <coughs> or maybe a vampire. <coughs> Fun one, la, not, the, not the scary one. La. So many, man. Okay, now that she has won the all-time favourite award, Star Awards has been less stressful for her. Yeah, la, yeah la, this is true. La. Because last time the... Top 10 right, every time uh, my fans are very stressful no. Every night after work, they still got to uh, vote for me Make the telephone call, spend so much money So I'm very stressed no. Then some they do so much work right, I still never get leh like, yo, they got one more year to go no. So finally when I get the all time favour and uh, my fans don't have to do all this anymore So I'm very grateful for them and like, for the outcome that my body is already tired Oh finish! Thank you very much! It was a happy experience. I quite enjoy myself. I've never spoken English so much in my whole life. Tongue twisted a bit. I don't think I can speak Mandarin now. <laughs> now I'm uh, doing a dialect drama. Uh, in the drama, I'm speaking Teochew, Hokkien, Cantonese. After that, I have another drama coming up. Thank you for watching this episode of Assumptions About Me. If you like, please like, subscribe and leave your comments below. I will read them. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.